you guys asked me to do a save on this team and damn it if you guys ask for it i'm gonna give it to you our very first f1 manager 23 save and it's gonna be with mclaren so to start things off we have oscar piastri and lando norris two drivers that i think we're going to probably be racing with for a few years and then we have a backup um his development rate is average like i said we're not gonna use him we're probably gonna replace him with someone else then mclaren in the beginning of the season is uh, going to be struggling we're gonna have to be on top of our development game let's take a look at we can develop four things and then we can manufacture three things which isn't too bad our finances we have 25 million decent we shouldn't have any uh, big money issues facilities let's see yeah we're also decent at our facilities um let's see race race simulation is at three which is good it means we can develop our younger drivers let's get into developing a new part um first we want to take a look at our so i think since we are going to be struggling quite a bit at the start um i'd like to already start developing for silverstone so that we can be competitive at our very first or at our home race in silverstone and any track in between that we accidentally develop for will be a bonus so we need some high speed low speed drs and top speed is uh, what we need for silverstone okay so this is what we will be developing <coughs> chassis underfloor front wing and side ports and basically developing the car for silverstone i want us we're not going to be the competitive in the start of the season but i'd like us to be a little bit more competitive by the time we get to silverstone so I'm developing the car from the first race all the way through to Silverstone and then we'll look out to what we need to improve furthermore. Manufacturing, I believe we're fine. Now let's take a look at our staff. Technical chief. Uh, we seem good all around except at technical chief. Um, but for the moment that's fine. And we'll take a look at that after Bahrain, after the uh, what training we will use for our pit crew yeah as we can see here we need help in basically every part of the car is just bad just developed completely wrong for the season but we'll fix it we'll fix it before the end of the year training schedule the first thing i want to do in training schedule is i'd like us already to reduce pit stop time on the first go it's not gonna affect us too much and at least we'll cut off 0.1 from our pit speed time our very first race of the season is on us and uh, we can expect it's a high chance of getting a safety car our car is going to be really bad in this first race and it's probably going to be a two stop we'll see if we can figure out something maybe get a one stop in or maybe a uh, hope for a safety car at some point we'll see what we do as we finish with practice and then for uh for our targets reach q2 qualifying position is 14th with both drivers i also said that we will get both drivers into q2 i doubt that happening but we'll try well actually i'll change that to at least one let's see if we can get lando into q2 i don't know if we'll be able to but we'll see in the finishing position one driver above or in 14th or above so i think that's manageable Let's go to the weekend. Okay, so the practice I will do off screen. I will see you guys after the practice sessions. I like doing it myself, okay? So I'm gonna do it. See you guys in a minute. So practice done. We got a 96 and a 96 on the setup satisf uh, satisfaction. Now we're going to qualifying and I do like this new confidence thing that they've added. I just wish it was more of a form thing instead of a confidence thing where it resets after every race and you have to kind of do it again i would have liked it if it was based on basically race to race it was like let's say here and if he's doing worse then it's it goes down and goes up if he's performing better but it's a step in the right direction so here we go it's it's qualifying and i basically want 
one set of mediums for the rice and I want two sets of softs for the rice. So we're not going to make it probably into qualifying two. So managing the amount of tires we have probably ain't going to be a problem. But let's go for it. Let's see where we finish. Hopefully we can get Lando into Q2. So end of qualifying, it's the two Red Bulls in the front, Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen. Then it's the two Ferraris, Aston Martin, Mercedes and uh, Lance Stroll. Gasly and the two has in 9 and 10. Huh. They really did not do bad. So, for strategy... <coughs> For the strategy, I want Lando Norris to go soft, soft, medium. And let me see if we can change a little bit around here and see if we can get a little bit of a better... Um, I'd like us to really push on the opening lap, uh, on the first stint. And then come in a little bit earlier. And just have a normal second stint and the final stint we'll see. We'll, we'll leave it like this so that we can decide through the stint what we want to do do we want to push a little bit more or okay and then oscar since he's starting in 20th um we might actually build our own here and hope for a safety car <coughs> whoops let me just move this along so i think we will start it off on a hard compound and actually maybe end up doing a one stop it's gonna be slow in any way maybe we can yeah we can do something like this <coughs> and just basically hope for a safety car at the right time if there's a safety car at this point somewhere we'll switch uh, we'll put on the mediums anywhere further we'll put on the softs and hopefully make it to the end we'll do that with Oscar We'll leave him on the track a bit, see what he can do. Then fuel, we will be taking one lap of fuel away from both of them. Lando's leached, 56 laps, 57, it's confusing as hell. I'll take off one in anyway. Yeah, I don't know. And of course, on the very first lap, you want to push as hard as you can, as would be expected. Okay, I think that's all set. Let's see what McLaren can do in the first, the very first race of the season. Hopefully Lando can score some points from 11th. And hopefully we can get lucky with Oscar. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. <clears throat> Lights out. And away we go. Now let's, this is kind of stressful. Come on, Norris. Attack the, the has instantly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, Norris. Beautiful. Instantly. He's, he's in the points. Let's see. Are we... Okay. We have a mixed batch of, of uh, strategies. I want him to just stay in this little pact here. Now, as for Oscar, we'll bring him down keep, instantly, keep actually. In good shape. Keep the tire in good shape. Yeah, we absolutely yep. need that. Yep. Norris in the points. I did not expect us to be here. Hopefully this can go all the way through. Maybe we can score even some more points. I'm gonna bring it down to aggressive because we we gotta, kinda wanna run in aggressive for as long as we can. Come on, stay with Magnuson. Stay with Magnuson. We just need to stay in this in the DRS basically. Magnuson is already out of the DRS of Stroll, but that's fine. Let's deploy a little bit. Just stay. Within yeah, the okay. DRS, come on, Norris. See, tires are already hot here in Bahrain. Come on. Let's go standard. We'll see if we can cool down the tires a little bit. Confirm. 
Oscar is 2.3 behind. Zhao Guan Yu. But that's fine, he's just doing the long race basically. Yeah, Norris is sticking to him, not too bad. Not too bad, Norris. Can't seem to get the tar to cool down enough. Do you want to manage out high budget? Yeah, Alright, cool it down a bit. We'll let the tar just cool down and, and a little bit and then we'll push again. We are outside of DRS. Hulkenberg is outside of our DRS at the moment, which is fantastic. I mean, he's on the edge. Hopefully, we can stay in Magnuson's DRS and get out of... get Hulkenberg out of our DRS. Come on. Come on, come on, stay with Magnuson. Stay with Magnuson. Magnuson's, Magnuson and Hulkenberg are on mediums and we're struggling with them. Oh. Okay, DR is enabled. Let's go, Norris. Come on. Let's pick it up a little bit again. If I can get him into the DRS, he might have it, he might have it. Come on. Yeah, he has DRS. Okay, so now we can top up a bit, cool down the tires. We are in a good position with Norris. Norris just need to stay here. <clears throat> it's a little bit difficult to actually push at Bahrain. The tire temperatures just does not want to work with us. Yeah. Don't know. I don't, I don't think we'll actually be able to stay with Magnuson for too long. really struggling to cool down these tires. I'm afraid of if we cool down too much, we might actually end up bringing a Hulkenberg back into attacking range. Oh, we're not doing too bad actually. Just it's not... Well, we can see with these arrows that it, the tires are cooling down at the moment. And we're kind of staying just outside of DRS. There we go. Okay, let's go standard. I'd like to have one hundred percent pace, please. Cool. Now we're already starting to lose pace on lap five. Hulkenberg is already catching up to us. <coughs> I'm gonna run like this uh, on the uh, medium pace for the just until about lap 10 I think and then I'll push from that point on it's kind of difficult because uh, the medium tires are gonna be a lot stronger at that point let's push now use some DRS let's see if we can get a, a hit of Magnus and maybe at least just attempt to get ahead of him. We're closing the gap quickly. We are within DRS. Come on, Norris. Come 
Oh, notice. You can do this. Piastri is five seconds outside of... Uh, away from the rest of the grid, so... We're really going to need a miracle with him. Come on, Norris. Come on, Norris. Come on, Norris. In this next DRA zone, we will... We will get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna need to cool down the tires again. Actually, I think I'll just push from this point on. We'll see how bad it gets. But that's good. Well done, Norris. Let's take another look. Here we are then at the 11th corner. There's the opening. Easy enough, easy enough. That's good, that's good. Now I'm gonna need to... I guess I'll just risk it basically at this point. Piastri. Let's take a look at the uh, lab histories. Piastri have been doing 42s. Norris. 38. Hmm. Against Magnussen. Ah, not too bad actually. Not too bad. We are actually going to run away from Magnussen now. Yeah, nice. Does Magnussen have... Yeah, he does. He just managed to get the RS. Uh, Norris deploy a little bit. Let's see if we can get out. An overtake is available. Yeah, confirm. Let's see. I just want to deploy until we hit the next DRS zone. Yeah, we, we're good. He's now 1.7 seconds behind us. Okay. Now we can just run with it. I think at this point we just let it go on a little bit. Norris is just going to do his thing for the next few laps. Until lap 17. Magnussen is actually now catching up. Starting to catch up. So he might go in. In the next few laps. Let's push Norris. Please push. Russell's in the pits. What's his strategy going to be? Probably... Oh, set of mediums? So he's going to finish it off with a set of softs at the end of this race. At least Albon and Hulkenberg and this entire pack is just fighting each other. Keeping them kind of away from us. I don't want to get stuck in this when I pit, but I don't think there's going to be a... Yeah, look at this, 4.8 now. I reckon we box now. I'll bring him in now. Going another set of softs. And then we're going medium, so let's go, Leno. Full out now. Magnuson is just catching too much for us to stay out any longer at this point. Yeah, I think we made a mistake with Piastri, but he in any way didn't stand a chance, no matter what strategy. That was our best strategy for Piastri. Just hope for a safety car. Lando coming in now. Let's see. Lando Okay, understood. Let's see what times do we set with our pit, pit stop. Someone else is also in the pits. Alpine. Gasly. Let's see. Come on, boys. Ah, oh, come on. What's happening? Man, that screwed us. 4.5. I have to say, I've seen McLaren make a lot of pit stop errors when I was testing the game a bit before starting this 
play through. I've seen they have been. McLaren have been the the team that's made the most mistakes in the pit stops. Um, so I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, hopefully that's not a thing for the rest of the season. But that cost us at least two seconds. Damn it. Um, let's deploy a little bit. Let's keep the freeze out of. Why is he. Oh, come on. This is also not good for our race strategy. Oh, it's Sonoda? It's not the freeze. Hmm. Oh man. We have the RS. Let's pull away, Norris. Come on. Hopefully, Sonora doesn't overtake us again now with the RS. He's gaining, but not enough. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, no. Nope. Okay. And we have temperature in the tires, so. No need to push the tires. Cool. Let's just run it. Let's just run the stand, Norris. Now we're gonna need some luck with Norris as well after that pit stop disaster. Yeah, no, we're gonna pull away from Sonora now, I, I reckon. Now that we have some temperature in the tires, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. I don't think. We have some cars in the pits now, Bottas and Ocon. I wonder when will... Yeah, they're gonna be out on track for quite some time still, like, I reckon. <coughs> so at this point, I think we just have to allow Norris to do his thing once again. Pull away from Yuki and also catch the freeze, I guess. Yeah, he's catching the freeze. Nice. Uh, go for the overtake, Norris. We have to. Time to try and start overtaking cars in front. Let's go, Norris. Easy, easy. Yeah, he should be able to get this done. Right now. There we go. Easy enough. And job done. Okay, let's catch the rest of the pack. Um, we should be just within when they come into pit. I think Norris's stint is actually not too bad at this point. Oh, yellow. Put us locked up. Let's take a look at that. Now here we are at the final corner. You can see the lockup, and they ended up their own passenger. Got away, got away. So we are gaining on them slowly but surely. Another yellow. Who was it? No, not a not a big incident, I guess. Yeah, we're catching nicely now, actually. This is not too bad. Where's... Where's Hulkenberg? Hulkenberg, okay, Hulkenberg and Magnussen. Yeah, actually, Norris, good job. Keep it going, buddy. 
We are almost at this big DRS train. Who has... Oh! Russell in the back. Okay. This is actually a good stand. This is... This is good. They will be boxing soon for softs though. They will have two sets of softs. Uh, two stands on softs. Where we will be running on these, this set of softs and some mediums. So catching up now is actually not too bad. This is actually... This is good. Notice if we can overtake, man, that would be even better. Uh, yeah, we have a big field in front of us now. And Russell and Hamilton is fighting each other. And I think all of them have used stars except for Stroll. There we go, first overtake done. Into the DRS where we will hopefully get past a few more of them. We need to make quick work of this. Come on. Nice, well done, well done, Norris. Now I think Stroll's gonna be the most the, the most difficult of all of them to get past. Mm. Let's harvest. So uh, recharge on. Now let's deploy again. Can use overtake. Come on, Norris. Get past Stroll. I think we might need to harvest the bit. Recharge on. This is interesting, this this is an interesting battle we have here. I'm gonna harvest a little bit for a few laps and then I'll push on these softs, see if we can get past them. We actually... Ah, oh, man. Oh, wow, Russell almost crashed. That was a close call. One more lap of harvesting and then I'm just gonna push for about two laps or so. We'll see how the temperature holds up. Now I do not want to fall outside of the DRS. Because then they're just gonna pass me again. Since we are a lot slower than the rest of them. Especially through this middle sector. But Norris is doing a good job at the moment. We're close to everyone in this mid midfield. Let's keep it up, Norris. And we're keeping Russell behind us. I mean, it's a DRS train at this point, but... Ah, look at that. Temperature's already going up. I'm not even going to be able to push, really. And just recharge off whenever's good. Ah, oh, there also get us. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. No, we're still good. Come on, let's get past Hulkenberg. Take is available. 
Stroll is in front of the pack now, so we should be it should be a little bit easier to get past the rest of this these cars. I think we're gonna get Hulkenberg here in the next uh, this next strike. Or before it. No, come on, get the DRS, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get Albon as well. Come on, Norris. Good stuff. That's good, that's good. Back into the points. Now we just need to get out of, we need to get a, a one second away from Albon. Stroll is already off into the distance. Uh, Zhao Guan Yu already overtaken Piastri. Okay, outside of a second. Now they should fight amongst each other now and allow us to get away. stop up <coughs> and I think now we can just allow him once again to finish the rest of his stint the Astri is still just running on his uh, uh, hearts yeah there's not much we can do for him to be honest we could bring him in put him on some softs and then softs at the end of the session because these guys everyone have petted and he's not ahead of any of them so I think we'll bring him in Put him on a set of softs. And then put him on a set of softs at the end as well. So Ariston't uh, we'll bring this back to the next lap. And a set of softs for the end. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to push in these temperatures. But yeah, I think this is this is good. This is what we'll switch to plan B his race completely fell apart so yeah it is what it is I guess he didn't give us much to work with from the start so yeah yeah yellow flag safety car yellow's ahead the freeze, yep. nope. No safety car. Let's see what the freeze did. Just a spawn, did he hit the wall? This car seems fine. He's not going into pit, so I guess he didn't hit the wall. Uh, it's a shame that Magnussen is three seconds ahead of us. I'd like us to actually catch him. And he should be pitting anytime now as well, actually. Good. Bastard in the pits. Let's see. Hopefully they don't make a make make a mistake again. Nope, 2.6, it's a little bit slow, but at least it's not a mistake. Norris is gaining on Magnussen. Actually, let's have him catch him and then we'll push. Get some temperature into these tires. 1.6. One point five for Norris. We're gonna be able to overtake him, but I don't know how much it's gonna really mean to us. Um, as soon as we are within one second, I'm gonna push with the tires. Yeah, go aggressive. Neutral. To push on these tires. Let's go, Norris. 
yeah, we should get it done even in this next DRA zone. Easy enough. This this is where we as uh, this is where Norris is making his overtakes at that DRS zone. Time and time again, he he gets it the job done there. <coughs> and now he should be able to fly off into the distance. They're probably going to bring Magnuson in this lap. I'd be surprised if he stays out any longer than this. Yellow. What happened? Magnuson pitted from behind you. So let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, Magnuson's in the bits. Like I said, I expected it. Things look fine here. The brakes couldn't oh. cope. Magnuson and Hulkenberg in the pits. The dub double stacking. Let's see how this goes. He's out. Magnuson coming in. And he's out. Not too bad from them. They are now on the softs. We're gonna push with these tires until we can switch. Um, they are. Oh, peak. What the hell? So at this point we need to keep an eye on Magnus and make sure he doesn't get too close to us before we go into the pits. Magnus and still I believe have two more pit stops that he has to make. He's not going to finish the race on those softs. And we only have one left. Hmm. I'm gonna have to also slow you down a little bit. It's getting yeah, hot. Come back to you. Russell, is Russell a problem? He's on 66 on mediums. Albon's going into the pits now. That's gonna clear the road a little bit more for the Haas. He's about 18 seconds behind us, I think, plus minus. Hmm. Oh man, and he has two fast stints left that he's gonna do. Oh, Magnuson is also... Let's actually, I'd like to take a look at Piastri's labs. 137, 138.1 on the very next lap. Okay. Hamilton's in the pits. He's still about 18, 19 seconds behind us. Norris is doing a really good job at this point. We might still come away with some points. Even though we had we have a really slow car and we had a issue in the pit lane, we might still be able to get some points. I mean Russell is now gaining on us. Let's push a little bit. Push a little bit more Norris. Russell is gaining. Yeah, just keep him away from us. Just keep him. He's, he, Russell's going to pit for softs as well. So he also... He's going to 
be able to pass us at the end of this race probably. Alcon, he's going for medium. And the two of them are going for another set of softs. Alcon's actually going to the pits now. Let's see what he puts on. So he's, he's in the pits. Yeah, it's mediums. It's medium. So that's okay. He should not be too big of a threat for us. At the end of this race. Magnussen is 14 seconds away from us now. Yeah, Norris goes hard as you can. Let's have 100% pace, please. Let's just push with these tires until we go into the pit. going to pit the next lap and we will put on mediums okay Lando we'd like to box this lap I'd like to box this lap please no not this lap okay. next lap Russell 1.7 still away. And Magnuson is not really catching us at the moment. But I'd like to switch to the medium tires and see if we can just hold them off. We could have gone a little bit longer as well on this set, but um, the longer we stay out, the more uh, Magnuson's gonna gain on us, and it's gonna only get worse. His speed is just gonna be exponentially quicker than us as our tires degrade. Put us in the pits. He's going for. Did he switch to these mediums or is he going to the softs? No, he's going softs. Last, uh, last stand of the race, I guess. So, well. So, does that mean Magnuson will also be coming in now? No, no, he's not. Right? He's not going to come in. Alonso's in the pits. He's going mediums. He's on the same strategy as, uh, as we are. Piastri, when's he going? Uh, lap 43 is coming in. Hmm. Gasly's in the pits. And we are coming in now. So let's see if we can stay close to Magnussen when we, when we exit. Magnussen is coming into the last corner now. 2.6 is really slow, but he's being held up by Sergeant. Let's see. Nah, he's gonna pass us. But now we just need to get close enough to them where... Come on, stay in front of Hulkenberg. Yes, 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 yes. Push a little bit. We still need to conserve with them as well. Stay, stay ahead of Magnuson. If Magnuson gets ahead of us, he's just gonna block us. We are just outside of the points now. Come on, Norris, keep him back. Magnuson used a fair bit of his stars already. He's not in. A, he's not in trouble, but 
We are about five, six seconds. Over to you, Let's see what happened. We see Leclerc coming into pit. But there's a problem jacking up the car. I see a lot of jacking problems. I've not seen wheel nuts that's not gonna come off or things like that so far. I've played a few races and the only issues I've seen was with the jack. Someone made a mistake. Oh, it's a Williams. It's Sergeant. Let's see what happened. Let's have a look as we go into the 13th corner. On the curb. The wheels just lock up there. But just a lock up. Just the risk you take. Yeah, the car's also getting back on track a little bit quicker and you can actually see them come back on track. I kind of like that. I saw two drivers... I saw two drivers drive into each other. I can't remember who it was, but on the side of the road actually trying to rejoin the track, which was which was funny. Norris, keep Alkenberg back. Let's try and catch Magnus over six seconds behind. Let's deploy a little bit. See if this can help us. Overtake is available. He's not getting past us. He's struggling to get past, with, past us with his softs, but he's making us slower, having to defend against him and not allowing us to catch up to Magnussen. The other thing is also Magnussen's going to be on softs, so we're going to be on used mediums, so I can't push too hard with these mediums. But as soon as we get a little bit away from Magnussen, uh, he might actually get us here. Nope. You see, he can't get past us, but he keeps slowing us down. Time to push on these tyres. Now we're not going to be able to get away from him. Oh, there goes Okun in the back. I just saw him skirt off into the distance. We've got a yellow flag here. Wow, well, we recovered really fast, actually. Yeah, I saw that. He did not hit a wall, at least. Lucky for them. Okay, yeah, no, we're not going to be able to actually get away from Alkenberg. But we are in the points. At the moment. And we can just hope Norris puts in a good stint on these mediums. At this point. Because when Magnus and Pitts, he's going to be behind us. Gasly, I think he's going to the end at this point. I don't think he's going to pit again. So if we can... Oh man. Magnus and Lewis is right on us. Right on us. But Norris is defending well. When's Magnussen going to go in? Yeah, he still has quite some time left on those tyres. Albon joins the fight. We're kind of just holding everyone at this point. Whoa, there's some fighting going on actually. Let's see, Alkenberg and Hamilton have been fighting each other, allowing us to just barely stay ahead. 15 laps to go. Come on, Norris. Magnussen is actually going to the end of the race with the softs, I believe. No, he's not. He's not going to. Right? He's not going to be able to. I don't know, actually. But he might not have enough laps left to catch up us if he pits now. If he pits now, he might be able to catch us. But the longer he waits, the shorter, the smaller those chances are. We are 5.8 behind Magnussen now. 5.7. I must say, the AI is actually really improved uh, from last year's game. The way they actually race against you with the ERS and the way they use tires. I mean, last year... Everyone on mediums would have been the exact same number and everyone on softs would be exactly the same number. But look at this. You have all kinds of different amounts of tires 
usage and things like that which is quite nice I also like the way the AI decide when to pet and things like that I feel like it's really much very much improved since last year's game it's actually really fun to kind of figure out what you're gonna do against the AI as soon as I start to push to catch someone they kind of react to that and I really like that it's it's so much better than last year's game but they can definitely even improve more so yeah I think it's definitely like I've said before a step in the right direction Norris is still defending still keeping them behind them and now that allowed Lewis actually to squeeze in Ah, oh, but he couldn't get it done. The camera angle was a little bit weird there. Yeah, if, if Norris can just hold back uh, Magnussen, oh, uh, uh, Hulkenberg, and giving Lewis the chance to kind of attack him, we might be able to pull away. But I think, I think we just need to keep them behind us until all of these soft tires are basically used up. I don't think, I don't think they're going to be able to pass Norris. I think we have it. I think he keep, kept them behind him for long enough. Yeah, look at that. Not even close. Norris is doing a phenomenal job. Let's pet Oscar for his next stint. Okay. Come on, Norris. Only a few more laps to go. You got this. And you can push. I'd like to start and start to push a little bit more with these tires. See if we can catch Magnuson. He is a little bit in the off into the distance, but he has 64% left on these compounds. We're actually pulling Hulkenberg with us now, away from Lewis. Yeah, not really. Seems like we are gaining on Magnussen. If we can push hard enough, Hulkenberg, Hulkenberg's in the pits, that means Magnussen might also go in at some point now. He's not going to have enough to catch us. I don't, I don't think so. Magnussen made a mistake. Here's the replay. Now this is what happened as they took turn eight. The gap opens up for them. Yeah, he made a mistake. We just went past Magnussen without even fighting. We're up into P9. But this is what happened. That's a bit of luck. Yeah. There he goes. That's that's some good luck, actually. Thank goodness. Okay, now we just need to keep Hamilton behind us. I don't think Hulkenberg's going to be able to catch us in 10 laps. Ooh, tires are a little bit hot. Let the tires come back to you. Okay, Norris. Now you just need to keep Hamilton behind you. Magnuson's now in the pits. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate for Magnuson, but I mean, we'll take it. And Hamilton's softs are also quite used, so... Uh, let's defend. Let's just defend. We're not going to catch Russell. So we might as well just defend really hard. Try and keep Hamilton behind us. I think Norris with his uh, tires. The life we have left in these mediums and the life that Lewis have left in the softs. I think Norris should be able to keep him behind him. Russell's in the pits. 
and we get past Russell. I think there was a pit stop mistake maybe. It seemed a little bit long for that pit stop. Maybe not. Albon goes past and what happened? Now we're with Lewis Hamilton here. The opportunity begging to be taken. Uh, he was just he was just quicker on that straight. Was a little bit later on the brakes. Got the got the overtake done. Uh, Norris, let's go like this. Let's push a bit. Let's use some DRS. Let's get that position back. I think no, uh, uh, Lewis might be pushing a little bit now with these tires. Come on, let's get that position back. We can get a P8 here. That would be amazing for our first race as McLaren and the state of this car. Not this time, not this time, but it's okay. So let's go standard. Just be careful with this tire. Yeah, go on, fam. I'm gonna micromanage this now. I should have harvested a bit. Let's go attack. Stay close. Get it done, get it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. If we can get DRS. Oh, I think we have DRS into this next one as well. Yeah, we do. Well done, well done. Let's take a look at that again. He was right, it was so close for the, look at that, so close for the DRS, and we got it. Okay, now I'd like us to top up and go standard. And let's pull away from Lewis, actually. We even have a personal best in the first sector. Well, that's the hardest we've pushed this entire race, actually. So, I guess that's why. Yeah, we, we're pulling away from Hamilton now. He used up his tires. It's, it's, the tires are probably really hot as well. Yeah, well, our tires are also nice and hot. But we have a little bit more left in ours. Yeah, come on, Norris. Just pull away from Hamilton. We had some, we had a little bit of bad luck and quite a bit of uh, good luck. So being able to finish P8 in the first race would be amazing. So let's, let's just keep on hoping. Focus on fuel for now, please. Yeah, that's, that's something I'm gonna have to start looking at. I'm gonna have to start conserving a bit of fuel. Let's save fuel for now, please save fuel from now. Hopefully we can keep Hamilton back. Let's go a little bit more aggressive with the tires as we conserve fuel. Yeah, we're keeping him back. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. He's not gonna be able to overtake us. Yeah, no shot. Come on. Come on, Norris. We got this. We just need to save a little bit more fuel. Keep him behind us. Hamilton has DRS, but it's not enough. It's simply not enough. I'm just managing Norris at this point. Well, for m basically in the entire race, I've been only managing Norris because PS3 just he didn't stand a chance from the get-go. I thought we might get lucky with the mediums, but the medium compound was so slow. We weren't even be we weren't even able to pass people when they came into the pits. Oh, Lewis is Lewis is going to get it. No, he's not. Oh, he might actually now. He might manage it now. Nope. Lewis is really pushing on those on those tires.
kind of worried about our fuel. Oops. Let's see. You see, he's not, he's, he's not gaining enough on the straight with DRS open. There's just not enough in his tires left to catch us. And we have the same engine, so he's also not getting an, an advantage at that point. Let's see on this straight. Oh, nope. Now we got this, we got this. Although I'm gonna have to get I'll continue to push these tires a little bit. We're just on the cusp of hot and and optimal, basically. So I'll keep Norris pushing for as long as I can. There's three laps left. It shouldn't be an issue. Well, there's four laps left for us. Because we are really far behind the leaders, I think. 1.3. Yeah, almost a full lap. Actually, I think, yeah. Verstappen is right behind us, actually. <laughs> so now we have, going over the start finish now, we have three laps left. And then Verstappen's gonna cross it, then he has two laps left. Yeah, we should, we're gonna, we're gonna finish P8. As soon as we go over the start finish now, I'll also make Norris deploy a little bit more ERAs. Actually, I'm going to wait a little bit more, maybe a halfway through the second to last lap, and then I'll have him deploy ERAs to help us on the fuel and get us a little bit more time. Two laps left. It's last lap for Verstappen, but not for us. Unless Verstappen actually laps us this lap. But I don't think he's gonna, he might. Okay, deploy. Go as hard as you can. 100% pace, 100% pace. We just need a little bit more fuel to be saved. There we go. We're fine. And Max actually might overtake us. Yeah, Hamilton's allowing him through now. We got this. It's basically over. We are going to finish P8. Oh, there's a yellow flag on the last lap. In case it wasn't a big incident. Maybe someone just ran a little bit wide or something. Do we want to manage our tire budget? Let's go, let's see if we can stay ahead of let's see if we can finish on the on the leading lap as well. Yeah, we're going to. That was phenomenal from Lando Norris actually, what, what we have, that was really good, finishing P8, oh shh, we can't finish lower than 8, there's no one that's going to be able to overtake us, and Gasly, we're not going to catch Gasly, so yeah, we're just going to finish this last race, ach, last lap, Well done. Well done, Norris. We might as well speed it up. We're going to be the last car over the finish line, the start finish line. Yeah. Okay, that's the flag. Well flag. done, Norris. Good points you scored for us. Good race. He had some really good pace. Well done it, well done it. Remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. There wasn't too much expectation on them today, <clears> but they fought hard and found themselves in the points. Well done, Norris. A great display of team spirit there. As everyone finally gets the Yeah, that's four points. That's four points I'll take. I did not think we'll 
score any points. We had some good luck with uh, Magnussen that spun out. Uh, Esteban Ocon that spun. Um, so we didn't have to fight him anymore. We just had some really good luck. We had a little bit of bad luck in the pit. Yeah. But as you guys can see, the McLaren needs a lot of work to get him where he should be and to make him good. And we will hopefully be competitive at Silverstone. That was the first race of the season. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.